What is up guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a super cheap, super easy pond filter for like 20 bucks out of a basic construction bucket. Stay tuned. So pond filters, they go anywhere from like 150 all the way up to like five, 600, even $700 for your basic pond filter. But you don't need to do that. You can literally make your own for pretty cheap and it's really easy to do and it works just as good as a super expensive pond filter. The pond I'm making this for isn't that big. It's only like 100 and 10 gallon uh, stock tank pond. So this two gallon bucket is all I'm gonna need. I got this for like freaking $2 at true value. This is all you need. This is gonna be like your, your container basically for the filter. Got the bucket, then just your basic landscaping bag of lava rock, $8 a bag. This lava rock makes great filter media. Also helps keep the, the bucket, you know, a little heavy, keep it sturdy so it doesn't just like fall over. But you're gonna need more than just the lava rock. So I actually just went and got these simple basic sponges for like literally the packages were like a dollar piece. You get four sponges in each, you're gonna use that. Now probably the most expensive thing that we're, we're using is this vinyl tubing. You can get this at like pretty much any hardware store, Home Depot, anything like that. Got like five foot here, it was like 12 bucks or something, still not that much. And this is gonna be connected to the pump and used to pump the water from the pond through the filter. And you are gonna need at least one hose clamp, which I don't know, it was like $1.50, something like that, two bucks maybe. We're looking at like 24 bucks basically, I think is what I paid in total for all this stuff. Now you are gonna need some type of pump. I already have a pump. Um, you can get the pumps for pretty cheap. You can get a decent one for like 30, 40 bucks. I mean, you're still around the $50 range, but as far as the filter itself, you're looking at about 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. So yeah, just gonna show you the ingredients again. Got the lava rock, got the sponges, hose clamp, the final tubing, and then the bucket. You are gonna need a bucket with a lid. You don't have to use a bucket. You can use like a tote or a bigger bucket or even a trash can or anything. But like I said, for this one, all we need is just like two gallon bucket. There is something that I forgot to grab that I, I probably will add to this later. And that is a uh, polyfill. Polyfill makes great like filter material. It, I think it is pretty much the same stuff they put on the actual like filters for like a fish tank and stuff like that. You know, the charcoal filled filters. The outside is kind of like that polyfill stuff, but it strains the water very well. And I wanted to get some of that, totally forgot to get it, so I'll probably be adding that later, but it is super cheap too, I don't know, you get you get a ton of it for like freaking like four or five dollars or something. But alright, let's go look at the pond we're working with right now. Here is the stock tank pond, as you can see, it's pretty green. I got like a little bit of algae problem going on, um, I'm not gonna lie, I've like never cleaned this, kinda just been letting it do its thing. Added more plants just yesterday, which should help clear it up a little bit, but uh, the pump I got running should work great for the filter I'm about to buy, but right now, it's just a very small filter on the inside of it and it's not really filtering all that well. It's not enough. So I think the bigger filter is going to do great. Basically just gonna build like a little platform over here in the corner and that's where I'm gonna put my filter on. And it's gonna be pumping from the pump up through the filter and it should make this like crystal clear within a couple of days. So that is the plan anyway, I'm not gonna lie. I've actually never built one of these and I'm actually building this different than pretty much anyone I've ever seen do it on YouTube. Most people use PVC pipe. Then you gotta, you gotta buy like the PVC cement and all that and you gotta buy something to cut the PVC with. And I was thinking, it's, if you just buy the vinyl tubing, you don't have to do all that. And it's way simpler and you're spending less money if you don't have the PVC cutter and all that. And there's no points for it to fail. It's all one tube. So we're going to see if it works. Hopefully it does. I think it will. It should. In theory, it should work. It, it, it makes sense in my brain. But yeah, you know, I can't even like see my fish in here because it's so, it's so green and dark. Let's, uh, let's feed them and see if anyone shows up. See if anyone's going to eat. I saw a couple fish when we walked up. Oh, there we go. I just saw, I just saw the one koi come up. They've been a little timid lately. There's a couple eating pretty goldfish. It's like, my goldfish is getting big. Wow. These goldfish are actually reproducing in here because there, there are like color variations of these fish that I never put in here. So they've got to be reproducing. There's a bunch of random stuff in here, actually. I think I got like a green sunfish. And I think there's a couple creek chubs in here. There's a lot going on here. I'm eventually going to probably go through here and, and kind of clean this out and and see what all is living in here because I don't even remember. Okay, so let's get started in building this filter. First things first, I'm going to need my drill. So I'll be right back. Get this lid on here. All right, so we need to drill a hole like right in the top. This probably isn't the best drill bit for this, but it should work. Hopefully it's the right size. Oh, that was quick. It should work, just gotta get the tubing in it basically. Make sure it fits. Oh yeah, that should work great. So that's basically the water's gonna be pumped through that tubing, through the filter. So we're gonna need another hole down here now. now. This is where I'm worried that this isn't going to be the best fit for this because it's probably going to make like a pretty crappy hole. It doesn't really matter I guess. Actually no, it worked out pretty good. Worked out perfect. I was going to do what it did to the lid and kind of shred it, but that worked out great. Now I might put another hole 
I think I am. I think I'm gonna do two holes just so there's like more than one stream. So we're gonna put the next hole like literally right next to it. That one shredded a little bit, but that should still be good. Take the lid off. This bucket is cheap. <laughs> So you gotta be careful. I just ripped a little, little bit, I think, but hey, we're saving a crap ton of money doing this. And you know, if something happens, you just build another one. They're freaking cheap. You can clean this up with like a, a little a razor blade or something, a box cutter. I think it's gonna work out pretty, pretty good though. Okay, so there we go. Got our two holes down the bottom. We got the hole in the lid. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of these sponges. It's just gonna help filter the water. We're gonna put one sponge like right by those holes. Right in front of those holes like that. So it'll be like the last little thing to drain. You guys want to work with here? I'm just going to put that sponge right there. And then I'm going to take a lava rock, fill it in behind. Why don't you do two sponges? I don't know why. I just think two would be better. So now we got to get this lava rock. Let's open here. Like yeah, Probably, there's probably a lot of dust in here. We should probably hose this off first. So we're going to do that. Hose this off a little bit. You can see my daughter's chalk everywhere. Yeah, let's hose this off. Let's actually put a bunch in here. Does it better? But actually, you can see uh, there is a lot of dust. That's what I was worried about, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. But we don't need it circulating through the pond. All right, so sponges where you want them. Start putting the lava rock in. Use it to keep the sponges kind of mashed up right there. Okay, so we're gonna need more lava rock, but first we're gonna add all the rest of the sponges now. So we still got like six sponges. So we're gonna put one there, one there. Basically just pack them all in there. It's just gonna be more filtration for the pond. Now we gotta get more, more lava rock. So I just hosed off some more lava rock. We're gonna add more to this. Now one thing, to be aware of the way I've done this now I am going to have to pretty much take this entire filter apart when it's time to clean it which wouldn't be too bad you know you just get another bucket kind of dump all the ingredients in wash the rock and wash the sponges in some of the pond water actually you don't want to do it in just like tap water because you can you can kill a lot of the bacteria you want to keep that good bacteria so you would wash it in the actual pond water you know it might take five minutes to reset up and I'm going to leave a little bit of a space up top because that's where I'm going to put the polyfill once I get it which you probably don't need to do I got a lot of sponges in here and stuff but we're, we're gonna we're gonna add the polyfill later a little bit more i think that's pretty good now we gotta put the lid back on here's the front of it we're gonna want that hole probably in the back lid back on okay so now one end of this tubing is going to be going through here and then this end is going to hook up to the pump so we got to get that moving now we gotta go do that in theory after that we should have a very cheap very effective filter so yeah let's go to the pond and see if it works okay so again you can see the pumps working but it's like i said it's just got a little bit of filter material in the base of it and it gets clogged up it's not filtering good enough as you can tell so we're gonna hook that pump up to the filter we just made i think i'm just gonna get a couple pieces of scrap wood and kind of like set them up here and then just set the filter on it and it'll kind of like waterfall in that's my plan so i just gotta find some scrap wood I'm just gonna find something i got laying around hopefully we can make work if i have to cut it i'll cut it but i'm hoping i'm not even gonna have to do that these uh these two by fours here should be great probably don't even need to cut them let's go see if they'll work this isn't going to be like the most beautiful thing we'll probably find a way to hide this later the dog barking at me but for practicality this, this should work for now my little pads right, so we're just gonna go like why like that and like that i think that'll work i mean it's not the most cool looking thing but it, it should work for now you know we might we might hide a little bit better but yeah the filter's just gonna sit up here now we gotta get that connected i'm about to pull this screen off get her all connected up so yeah let's do that safety first so before we start messing with this pump we gotta unplug it we don't want to get electrocuted here's the little pump that i'm dealing with now i did make a mistake i assumed this had like a nipple on it like how my other pumps have and it doesn't basically this tubing should be on the outside of this I'm gonna have to buy an adapter probably to do this right but it does fit pretty snugly on the inside so we're gonna we're gonna try it this way i don't recommend doing it this way but i think it will work because i have that hole i have it jammed all the way up into here and this isn't a huge pump so the pressure shouldn't be too crazy so i think it'll be okay for this video and uh, we'll still show you how this is gonna work and then i'll have to fix this later let, let, let's just hook it up and see what happens but yeah i put the vinyl tubing on the inside you definitely would rather have the vinyl tubing on the outside because i can't even hose clamp it now well we hooked it up 
seems to be working really good actually the pump's pumping it through the tube i think we'll be okay now like i said i'm not going to keep it this way but as you can tell that is a steady stream and it's not it's not pushing the tube out so that's that's good this should this should work out perfectly um yeah so i'm just going to continue for now no the truth let's see if it works see there we go it's working look at that seems to be working hopefully that water starts clearing up as it comes out good again we are probably gonna add the polyfill that is a lot better than what i had definitely doing a lot more filtering there it is guys now hopefully within a couple days this will be much clearer I think we need more holes. <laughs> oh no! So I had to make a little adjustment because, I don't know if you saw, it was overloading the filter. So I made more holes and then took out some of the uh, lava rock and now she seems to be working fine. I got a little safety hole above it in case it starts getting crazy, but I think we're good now. Hopefully that water will clear up. We'll see. It should. 25 bucks, you got yourself a filter probably actually add some more of the lava rock and stuff back now now that i see it it's not it's not bogging it down those two holes just weren't enough is what it was we'll probably do that there you have it we built our very own pond filter for right around like 20 25 bucks that is if you already have the pump i actually am probably gonna replace this pump because it was acting a little weird and i had to like smack it to get it going again so we're probably gonna replace the pump and we're gonna get one that i can fit the hose around instead of fitting the hose in so, you know we ran into a couple hiccups but all in all as you can see she is working great right now Hopefully it's going to continue to clear this water up and the fish are going to be healthy, happy, which they already are happy and healthy. Green water isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you can't really see the fish, so, you know, it's better to have the clear water. So hopefully now that we have a larger filtration system on this pond, it'll be crystal clear and we'll be able to see our fish way better. We're going to be doing more pond builds, more backyard pond stocking, more DIY stuff that has to do with ponds and fish keeping and all that great stuff. And we're going to go out, we're going to catch some native fish to put in a pond all that is coming soon but all right guys that is all i have for you in this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please smash the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you next time